looks like we're about to get started here. The Puget Sound versus Pioneer Valley. Uh, this is Roxy Horror. Merciless will be joining me momentarily. In the meantime, uh, hang with me while I do my best attempt to solo announce. Looks like we have a Hollywood Chuck and uh, I think that's Jurassic Park on the line for uh, Pioneer Valley. Hollywood Chuck out front. He has one more person to beat. He's through and he's lead. And now the uh, Pioneer Valley. Oh, almost through the pack, but uh, spins and trips. Hollywood Chuck is scoring points, however, and he is lead jammer. He is just now re-entering the pack. Jurassic kick now through. He's not lead. Hollywood Chuck has one more to beat, and he calls it. Waiting for the, uh, there we go, four points. Four points for Puget Sound. It's like a Scott Slamilton for Puget Sound versus a Dr. Dr. Spankenstein, I believe, for Pioneer Valley. And there's the whistle. Oh, he just sound jammer out first. That's Scott Slamilton. He does get lead. Pioneer Valley having a little trouble in the front there. It looks like number 13 for uh, Puget Sound being sent off. Uh, I assume that was a low block. I didn't see the actual ref signal. But meanwhile, Scott Slamilton's through for a grand slam. I'll be back in one second. Sorry, y'all. It looks like I'm going to be solo announcing for a minute. Uh, Mercy's working on finding a replacement uh, announcer. So this is, uh, yes, this is me, Roxy Horror, all by myself. First weekend announcing ever by myself. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> um, that's number 615 for Pioneer Valley. Um, that would be Mars Travolta. Number 19 jamming for uh, Puget Sound. That's Corey Payne. Why, hello. <laughs> hey, Mercy. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I see right now that uh, Mars Travolta and uh, Corey Payne are jammer on jammer over in turn two. A little jammer on jammer action going on. Positional. Yeah. <laughs> Until just Positional, then. yes, positional. Uh, Mars Travolta does have the lead. Pack is incredibly fast right now. It's like uh, Mars Travolta. My best guess is there. he's waiting for them to uh, isolate a blocker so that he can score one point before he calls it off. Uh-oh. That was dangerous. Waiting to see the points. It's like one point scored on that jam. So the current score is 14-0 for the Puget Sound. 26 20, uh, minutes left in the first half. If you're just joining us, yellow and blue is Puget Sound, and uh, military green and, green and camo is Pioneer Valley Roller Derby's Dirty Dozen. It's like a Hollywood Chuck jamming for the Puget Sound and Jurassic Kick Park jamming for the Pioneer Valley. Full packs on the floor right now. Oh. Someone attempted an apex leap there. Hollywood Chuck Berry then takes uh, an outside line and is, achieves lead jammer just as Jurassic Park takes a seat in the penalty box. 
Hollywood Chuck seems to have amazing agility for his size. He's a tall, tall guy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, oh wow, you know, another another super tall guy there in the front of the pack for the Dirty Dozen is uh, Will Jettison. Like a, Chuck got a grand slam on that one. Five points. Still four on four in this power jam. A little bit of one on one in the pack to uh, break up the back wall of Pioneer Valley. Uh, Ho Hongo just misses Hollywood Chuck Berry. Looks like he got uh, four points on that one as a no pass, no penalty. Hollywood Chuck Berry takes an assist from his teammate up through the outside. He'll take five points on that jam. Jurassic Park is standing in the box. Oh, yeah, zero, zero on that particular pass. Hollywood Chuck, fist pumping the air. Score is currently 28 to zero. Puget Sound in the lead. Just over 24 minutes left in the first half. Champion jam skater and creator of the beautiful antic skate boot, Quadzilla LK on the line for Puget Sound. Doctor, is that Dr. Spankenstein? on the line for Pioneer Valley. Four three pack advantage to Puget Sound. Gino Evil and uh, Mantletoe in the front making a wall. Bazooka Joe tries to make a hole, but Quadzilla is your lead jammer. Gino Evil tries to take a hit on Dr. Spankenstein on turn three. He's out, but not lead. Godzilla, it's fancy footwork in the pack to get through. He'll take four points on that pass. Whole lot of one-on-one -on -one in the pack, and then Puget Sound establishes a three wall at the front. Looks like it's uh, Gino Evil, Thunderstruck, and Mantletoe. Oh, it's sign. Almost through. Quadzilla calls off the jam as Spankenstein throws him a little hug. Well, that puts uh, Pioneer Valley on the board with four points. Puget Sound at 35. Just uh, under 23 minutes left in this half. Jurassic Kick Park returns to the line for Pioneer Valley. He is joined by the epic Scott Slamilton, number 100 for Puget Sound. I swear to God that dude can like hover parallel to get through the pack. <laughs> with his feet off the floor or something. I've seen it. <laughs> wow, and so Jurassic Park takes a really strong assist from his teammate, Mongo, to get out of the front of that pack. However, he took a fall, and I'm assuming that he is not lead jammer. It looks like Scott Slamilton is lead. Both jammers race to the back of that pack. They hit it full force, but there's a little bit of a pileup on the inside. I'm not sure that either one of them realizes their lead. Scott Slamilton is out. He'll take four points. And unfortunately, um, PVRD's jammer got recycled to the back of the pack. Jurassic Park still fighting a front wall. They have to let him go on 20 feet. And Scott Slamilton calls off the jam. That brings the score to 40, Puget Sound. Pioneer Valley at eight, with 21 and a half minutes left in the first half. Looks like Hollywood Chuck on the line. And Mars Travolta for Pioneer Valley's Dirty Dozen. Full packs on the floor. Slow start and a little bit of a separation, so the refs are indicating where the pack is. Both jammers take an outside line, but Quadzilla takes Mars Travolta out on turn two, forcing him way to the back of the pack. Your lead jammer is Hollywood Chuck Berry. He's flying around, too. Two wall of Gino Evil and Barry Mantletoe at the front of the pack. Pioneer Valley trying to help their jammer break through, and he hops through that two wall. Not lead, but ready to score. Hollywood Chuck gets four points. Thinking about calling it. 
Quadzilla signals to Chuck to call it just as Mars Travolta makes the approach in the back. Score now 44 to 8, Puget Sound. Just over 20 minutes left on the clock in the first half. Scott Slamilton returns to the jam line. That's uh, Dr. Spangenstein, I believe, for Pioneer Valley. Lovely penalty-free penalty box right now. Dr. Spankenstein swims his way up through the outside of that pack, takes down uh, one of the Puget Sound blockers on his way out. He's your lead jammer, but followed very closely behind by Scott Slamilton. Looked for a second there, like um, number 68, Puget Sound, might be injured, but he's uh, back on the track and rejoining his pack right now. It's Buster Fuzz. He rejoined in the front of the pack and has let the pack catch up with him. Very similar to the last time. Is that okay to do? I think I never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get in trouble for it. Well, I don't think anyone saw. <laughs> and if the refs don't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Until they watch the archive on DNN. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe refs don't love us so much. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they do. I don't know. It's a learning experience. Like Hollywood Chuck and Jurassic Kick Park on the line as jammers. Jurassic Kick Park. Very slow pack to start. Jammers are off. Looks like Hollywood Chuck Berry is waiting for his hole. Jurassic Kick Park tries the inside, moves to the outside. He's juking through the middle of that pack, scoots around the outside of uh, Mantle Toe. He's your lead jammer. Hollywood Chuck Berry about a quarter track behind. He's a, Hollywood Chuck's pretty fast. He is gaining on him. Jurassic <laughs> Park signaling to his teammate, passes two skaters, and calls off the jam. Uh, Chuck scored two. Didn't call it quick enough. So that brings the score to 46 to 9. Puget Sound in the lead. About 17.45 left in the first half. Quadzilla LK, number 23 for Puget Sound in yellow on the jam line. I think it's Mars Travolta for Pioneer Valley. It is. <laughs> Quadzilla ducking low to try and get around the PBRD blocker in the back. He's making himself a hole up the inside. Passes Bazooka Joe almost unnoticed because Gino Evil distracted him, and he's your lead jammer. Mars Volta not far behind him, maybe a third of the track. Three wall of Puget Sound in the front. Dirty Dozen moves in to break that wall up, and now it's one-on-one -on -one action in the pack. Gino Evil gives Quadzilla assist, but he lands on the back of Bazooka Joe and calls off the jam. And not literally on the back, he just sort of landed at <laughs> Does get two his points. Back. So Puget Sound 48, Pioneer Valley 9. 16.35 left in the game. Uh, I think that's Corey Payne, number 19, in yellow for Puget Sound. Uh, Dr. Spankenstein for Pioneer Valley. One skater takes a seat in the box. Wrench for Pioneer Valley, so 4-3 pack advantage, Puget Sound. Oh. Huge apex jump by Corey Payne of turn one. He spins his way through the inside of turn oh. two. Uh, huge <laughs> scuffle on turn four where Dr. Spankenstein tries to take him out. Corey Payne is your lead jammer, and Dr. Spankenstein is going to go take a seat in the box. Huge hits right now on Corey Payne, but all he does is a pirouette on the straightaway. Yeah. He is also going to the box. Looks like a forearm major. I think it was a track cut. He's taking his time now, just kind of gliding around the track. <laughs> Why rush? 
Pax figuring out what on earth they're going to do now. Wrench is standing in the full Pioneer Valley box, and now uh, Spankenstein is released. Also notably, another beard. <laughs> Wow, number 35, Puget Sound, tries to take uh, Dr. Spenkenstein out, and uh, I think that was Mongo that just cleaned his clock and moved him out of the way for his jammer. And he's through. A wrench, I'm sorry, that was a wrench. So Spenkenstein is through on his initial pass. But Corey Payne's already back in, scoring. Number 82 for Pioneer Valley now standing in the box. Corey Payne is through with four points. Speaking sign still has a one to beat in the front, and he does. And that one doesn't notice him, so he just slides on through and takes four <laughs> points with him. Dallas, <laughs> downtown Dallas is holding a powered by beard sign next to the track. Yeah, I'm, I'm super sorry to disappoint you, but if you are expecting there not to be beards in a roller derby team from Western Massachusetts. <laughs> Got I another thing know. coming. They, these guys are the original beards, by the way. They're the beards from the beginning, so. <laughs> I feel like they can do whatever they want with their facial hair because they're the OGs. <laughs> so scores at 57 to 13. He just down in the lead. And I, th I believe that's uh, Mars Travolta on the line for Pioneer Valley. And uh, 100 on my sheet, but 10.0 in reality. Scott Slamilton for Puget Sound. He's being held nicely by a four wall of the Dirty Dozen in the back. He races his way around that wall, past his teammate Gino Evil on the inside. He is not lead, but a quarter track behind your lead jammer, Mars Travolta. Mars already approaching the pack. Oh, gets knocked out of out of play by Quadzilla, and uh, knocked off the track, if you will, for zero zero. So 13 minutes left in the game. The score is still 57 to 13. Puget Sound the lead. Sorry, 13 minutes left in the first half. Grim Streeper number 71 fist bumping Jurassic Park on the jam line. The Legion of Epic Beards from St. Louis has uh, formed quite a conga line in front of us watching this game from the sideline. <laughs> the Legion of Epic Beards. I hope they all still have them tomorrow morning. <laughs> I, I, you know, if they don't all have them tomorrow morning, I guarantee they're growing them back out before MRDA champs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? Is that October? November. November. Yeah. I think, maybe I'm wrong. Wait, I might be I confusing it with another DNN event. I know it's in the fall. So don't quote me on that. It's either <laughs> October or November. It's been kind of a long weekend. <laughs> it's in Long Island, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> New York Shock Exchange is hosting. They will be looking for revenge, I'm sure. I uh, was trying to get a hold of some of the uh, ladies' night and a few other people to do an interview before this event, but we got a little bit busy. So after this event, we'll do a little bit of a workup on their champs. Jammers are off. Three on three in the pack right now. Oh, the uh, Puget Sound jammer. Grim Streeper leaps his way out to an easy lead. Jurassic Park is right on his back. Jammer on jammer down the straightaway. <laughs> Jurassic's trying to hop, hop in front of him, but he's just too fast. Safe call off, 0-0 zero, zero on that jam. Looks like Hollywood Chuck's going to be jamming for the sound next. And Dr. Spenkenstein for the Dirty Dozen. Epic beard, by the way. Epic beard. Hey, he's got a ginger beard, though. I wonder if that's different than a black beard. Yeah, I don't know. The black beards would kind of clash with their uniforms anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ginger beard looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Quadzilla making a loop around that back wall of PBRD to be the last man in the pack. Break that wall up for his jammer. Hollywood Chuck Berry doesn't need a whole lot of help. No. Finds his own holes, and he's lead jammer. 
Quadzilla pushes Spankenstein out, but uh, he's back up and at him. Both of them are, actually. Three wall of Puget Sound in the front. Pioneer Valley chasing and trying to break that up. Quadzilla hangs back in the pack. Uh, Will Jettison has joined the pack now from the penalty box. That makes it a 4-3 pack advantage for Pioneer Valley. Dr. Spankenstein out, but not lead. Quadzilla goes to take a little swipe and uh, Jammer Dukes to the right, falls off the jam. That was a four point pass. It's like uh, Puget Sound has 61, Pioneer Valley with 13, 10 40 left in the first half. Scott Slamilton on the line for Puget Sound, and uh, Mars Travolta for the Dirty Dozen. I should have picked my phone up sooner so y'all could envy my dump truck ringtone. <laughs> phone's ringing. <laughs> or as Dumpy would say, hey, phone's ringing. <laughs> Scott Slamilton fighting his way up the inside line. Bazooka Joe is not going to have that and is holding him back. His jammer passes Scott Slamilton for lead. Mars Travolta's out just barely. Just, he's lead, but he's just barely in front of Scott. Just kind of going slowly around. So there's zero zero jam. Just over nine minutes left to play in this first half. Number 71, Grim Streeper, taking a line for Puget Sound. And Jurassic Kick Park for the Dirty Dozen. That's kind of a tongue twister. Got nine minutes left in this half. Slow pack to start. 4-2 advantage for Pioneer Valley. Oh, Jurassic Number 14, <laughs> Ryrod tries to stop Jurassic Kick, but can't. Gets through and he's lead. Chasing right behind him with super speed is Scott Slamilton. Oh no, Grim Streeper, I'm sorry. Look, the speed of his stride made me <laughs> think he was Slamilton, but really it's Grim Streeper, so oh. respect to him. Big hit to Jurassic Kick in the back of the pack. Oh, be he calls off the jam. Takes the reps a minute to blow the whistle. Not really a minute, maybe two seconds. <laughs> Looks like it was a 3-0 three, three jam. I think the um, score is now 61 to 17. Puget Sound in the lead. Eight Mars. minutes and 13 seconds left in the half. Mars Travolta taking the line for Pioneer Valley and the real Scott Slamilton taking a line for Puget <laughs> Sound. <laughs> I hope they both consider that a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> they should. 4-2 pack advantage for Pioneer Valley right now. Oh, Scott getting beat up in the back of the pack there. Wow, but jammer on jammer action. <laughs> Scott Slamilton takes a whip off of Barry Mantletoe's shirt to scoot around. Mars Travolta, but Mars Travolta is your lead jammer and calls off the jam. That was a, that was a strong whip. I'm, they must have expensive jerseys because uh, most of the stuff we wear probably would have ripped. We being me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there's there's a real advantage to that sort of like, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? Quality? Athletic <laughs> jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Spankenstein taking the line for uh, Pioneer Valley. And Grim Streeper, again, we're doing a little two-jammer rotation right now for Puget Sound. Oh, there's a scoreboard palindrome. Oh. 61 to 16. Dirty Marty. <laughs> if you haven't heard the Dirty Marty song, you better go look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Bazooka oh. Joe just guarding the front of that pack. His teammate takes down 
Grim Streeper, but Grim Streeper is your lead jammer. He was down for like half a second. Whoa, huge hit right now from Hollywood Chuck Berry on Dr. Speckenstein between turns two and three on the straightaway to the outside. He makes him re-enter, but really re-enter the middle of the pack. Takes him down again on turn four. Hollywood Chuck being sent off for a penalty on that. Sasquatch was one to be to the front of the pack as uh, Hollywood Chuck Berry gets sent to the penalty box and Spankenstein is out of the pack. I believe uh, Stripper got a grand slam on the last pass. Let's see how many points he got on this one. Two. So that's 68-16, uh, Puget Sound. Only five minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. There is so much fun shenanigan going on right now in front of us with the Powered by Beards sign in various photo configurations. Go look at Facebook if you're friends with anyone from St. Louis. I get the <laughs> feeling you'll be able to watch these live updates of amazing photos. Jammers are off right now. Thunderstruck jamming for Puget Sound. And it looks to me like uh, Jurassic Park battling his way through the front for lead jammer. Again. Not lead by much. Jurassic Park takes a whip off of Will Jettison. Uh, Quadzilla LK goes to meet him up at the front of the pack, and he calls off the jam. It's like uh, both jammers scored some points there, from our point of view, anyway. Two points for uh, two points for Pioneer Valley, and one for Puget Sound on that jam. He's got Mars Travolta again for. Uh, Pioneer Valley. And Grim Streeper jamming for Puget Sound. Four three pack advantage is working right now for Pioneer Valley. Mars Travolta almost making it out of the pack, but he's got a two wall to beat. They've got to let him go on 20 feet. He's out and he's lead. Pack is moving slow. Mars is almost to the back of the pack again. Do you guys really want us to start calling them Poojay? <laughs> Whoa, huge uh, tumble in the back as uh, two PBRD blockers try really hard to sandwich block Grim Streeper. He doesn't fall then, but he does fall in turn two. He's now at the back of the pack, winding his way up through the outside. He's got Bazooka Joe to beat and uh, tries to make a juke, but ends up tripping over his own feet, it looks like, in turn three. He'll take down Hollywood Chuck Berry and Wrench with him accidentally in that turn. Wrench knocks him over harsh in turn one to the outside. In the meantime, Mars has uh, scored two grand slams quickly here. Working on a third. Mars takes a hit from Hollywood Chuck Berry and keeps on moving, just bounced right off of him. He had uh, Rye Rod and Gino Evil to pass, and they had to let him go on 20 feet. He'll take five on that pass. Narrowing the gap. It's uh, 69 33 now. He just sounds still in the lead. Bazooka Joe making an excellent block on Grim Streeper, but he's out of the pack. We only have two minutes and 30 seconds left in this jam, and in this period. It's been a long day, folks. Crowd's going crazy. Like it's actually a 14-point jam, according to the house announcers. I thought it was three grand slams, but one of them must have been a four-pointer. Stopped clock at two minutes and 15 seconds. 69, Puget Sound. 37, Pioneer Valley. I enjoy the names of these teams because they both describe the location <laughs> of the team. Yeah, I appreciate those as well. I do. <laughs> it is uh, some some unique common sense in roller derby league and team naming. Respectively, they are the Derby Outcasts and the Dirty Dozen. 
but thanks for indicating where you're from. <laughs> Skaters back out on the track. Is that Wrecking Bill who looks like the Hulk? Yes, that is Wrecking Bill. He's totally that hooking <laughs> it up over there. <laughs> that is Wrecking Bill in his uh, Hulk fantastic. shirt. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, everybody knows he's from the Gatekeepers. He doesn't have to wear a jersey. He's making his pecs dance right now in his <laughs> wrestling shirt. It's unbelievable. Has he met Dump Truck? <laughs> no, but I feel like that could be a real opportunity. Wrecking Bill also types in all caps on Facebook all the time, which is very appropriate if you know Wrecking Bill. Hollywood Chuck Berry jamming against Dr. Spankenstein right now. They're both out of the pack at just about the same moment, but Hollywood Chuck Berry is your lead jammer. Oh! Wow, uh, Jurassic Park, I'm sorry, not Dr. Spankenstein, takes Hollywood Chuck Berry out on turn three. Hollywood Chuck Berry waits for him to get close to the pack and calls off the jam. A minute 40 left in the first half of this game. Score is 69 to 37, Puget Sound. Hollywood Chuck Berry taking the jammer star on the line for Puget Sound. That's uh, Mars Travolta on the line for Pioneer Valley. One blocker for each team in the box, so 3-3 three, three pack. It's a little bit of a slow start. Mars has a three wall to beat at the front of the pack, and so Hollywood Chuck Berry can slip around and become lead jammer. Woo! Mars got a minor track cut there. It was after, after he. It looked like to me it was after he passed everybody. Two wall in the back of Rye Rod and uh, Sasquatch make sure that nobody can touch their jammer on the way through. Hollywood Chuck is through. Hollywood Chuck, rather, is through with four points. Mars Travolta is also through. Looks like he took three points. Hollywood Chuck Berry making his way through the middle of the pack, gets his hips past at least one blocker and calls off the jam. That's right, one point. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna end the first half of this game. Uh, Halftime score, if it, if it holds, is 74 to 40, Puget Sound. Period clock porn. <laughs> I was I was jumping out of my chair every time I heard that earlier, and now it's just like whatever. <laughs> I wonder if it distracts anyone on the track because it does make me jump a little bit. I'm getting more used to it though. I, I was really impressed that the Junior Derby girls weren't distracted by it. I almost jumped out of my seat while I was watching them. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe they're used to it. It looks like we probably got about five minutes in halftime right now. Score: 74 Puget Sound, 40 Pioneer Valley. What are your predictions for the second half, Roxy? That's a good question. <laughs> I think I expect to see the, let's see, can I make a prediction? Here's what I've got to say. These teams <laughs> are both veteran teams, but Massachusetts is a little bit older. They're both teams that practice hard like crazy. They're both teams that have a lot of practice opportunity with a strong women's roller derby team on a regular basis. I didn't know that about the um, about the sound. I knew that Pioneer Valley uh, was good. well. Is sound there... scrimmage is only every Sunday. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> that's that's what I've heard anyway. And of course, um, Pioneer Valley is a really revolutionary league. They are the only league uh, since its establishment to have gender equity. So they have a brother and sister men's and women's team. They have always insisted on being gender equitable. So they never will be candidates for Wooftada. It's been discussed in the past, but um, they're sticking to their guns. So, you know, I'm, I feel really certain that those teams must scrimmage and play each other at some point for their own mutual benefit. Yeah, I would assume they practice together some. <laughs> so I, I guess what I'm getting at is that these teams are, uh, as far as adjustments and adapting for the second half, probably fairly well matched in that skill department. Yeah, I've actually, uh, I actually don't know a whole lot about either of these teams, except I, I always knew Quadzilla skated for uh, Puget Sound, but <laughs> and now I know how to pronounce both of them. 
<laughs> After a lesson from the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chat room. <laughs> I read on my sheet here, P-E-W-G-E-T. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually my first weekend announcing ever, and that's the I think that's the only huge pronunciation error I've made all weekend, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I have a history of uh, twisting my tongue over random words. So. Oh, you guys, <laughs> it's not that Lift of the Teams can't be affiliated with men's teams. It's a really, it, this is a much more bureaucratic error um, in, the, in the issue, which is that there's an ownership percentage of your team that has to be a skater and skater is defined as female and has certain descriptions about it in the Wolf to the Rules for membership and acceptance. So um, the issue is that there's gender equity in the ownership and management of the league as well as the teams. And they want a majority percentage of that ownership and management on a Wolf to the League to be women, essentially. So affiliation is not a problem. You can affiliate a men's team with a woman's Wolf to the Team all day long. There just can't be equity in the ownership and management of the league. We've got one minute and about 45 seconds remaining on the halftime clock. And just before anybody gets twisted, there are men who are parts of ownership and management of Wolf to the Leagues as well. They just are in the minority of that ownership and management. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that we had a chance to read rosters, so we're going to go ahead and read you those rosters right now. Go for it, Roxy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start with Pioneer Valley, Dirty Dozen. We have <laughs> three, Rambo Sprinkles, 24, Wrench, 30, Grizzly Adam, 42, Snidely Rink Rash, 49, Bazooka Joe, 78, Davy Jones, 82, Mongo, 84, Will Jettison, 242 damage, 615 Mars Travolta, 1955 Ketchum, 1993 Jurassic Park, I would assume that's the year the movie came out, 113 V, Dr. Spankenstein. Just a quick note about Ketchum. He is one of the original, not modern era, but other era roller derby skaters who has returned to play in Massachusetts. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, the Puget Sound Derby Outcasts consist of number 11, Thunderstruck, number 13, Geno Evil, number 14, Rye Rod, number 16, my personal favorite men's derby skater because he dances on the line, Sasquatch, yeah. number 19, Corey Payne, number 23, Quadzilla LK, number 35, Radalac, number 50, Barry Mantletoe, which is a mouthful, by the way. Say that three times fast. <laughs> um, number 68, Buster Fuzz. Number 71, Grim Streeper. Number 97, Biggie Talls. Number 10.0, but also 100, Scott Slamilton. 24-7, Hollywood, Chuck Berry. And uh, 17, Manic Oppression. 55, Corporal Punishment. 67, Mo Diesel. 808, Maximus Overdrive. I left off two for the Dirty Dozen. They're at the bottom of the roster here, so I assume they, they might. I don't think they're skating in this bout, but it's uh, number 12, the Lawson Raptor, 86 Calico Jack Reckham. We're about to get started with the second half. The uh, halftime score was 74 for the Puget Sound and 40 for Pioneer Valley. Someone's pushing a sink through the room. Are you seeing this? <laughs> yes. I have never seen a sink on <laughs> wheels complete with like a soap dispenser and a paper towel dispenser. It just has a uh, electrical outlet on it too. <laughs> <laughs> no plumbing. I want a portable sink. <laughs> it's like a Jurassic Park jamming for uh, Pioneer Valley. 74 to 40 in favor of Puget Sound. Is that uh, Scott Slamilton on the line for Puget? It is against Jurassic Park. Four 
three pack advantage for Pioneer Valley right now. Scott Slamilton juking his way through that pack. He nope. makes it past nope. Dr. Spankenstein, but he is not lead. Who is, Roxy? Jurassic Park is lead jammer. He snuck around on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. Oh. He uh, tried to get one and call it. Yeah, two. It was a very successful call off there. Uh, so the score is now 74 to 42. Puget Sound the lead. Let's see if Pioneer Valley can keep building that lead right now, or keep <laughs> closing that gap. <laughs> Mars Travolta on the line for Pioneer Valley. Grim Streeper pointing <laughs> for Puget Sound on the jam line. Grim Streeper taken to the inside at the back of a four wall of Pioneer Valley as Mars Travolta is released by the two frontmost blockers from Puget Sound. And Mars is lead. He's already in the back of the pack, too. He's pretty fast. Geno Evil races to rejoin the back of the pack, and uh, he's taken down by... 82 Mongo in the back of the pack for Pioneer Valley. Mars uh, dances through the pack and calls it immediately for four points. A little bit of uh, leapfrog with Gino Evil tumbling over Snidely Rink Rash when he fell on the inside, and then they're both patting each other's back and calling it good at the end of that jam. Score now 74 to 46. Puget Sound still in the lead. Jurassic Kick Park on the line for Pioneer Valley. That's Scott, Scott Slamilton on the line for Puget Sound. My hand is falling asleep. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I did. My hand is falling asleep. <laughs> Jammers racing off the jam line. Pioneer Valley out in front. Scott Slamilton tries to take a whip off of his teammate in the back and ends up doing a face plant on the floor instead. And I think that was Mongo juking him to the inside. No, that was Wrench. Oh. I'm sorry. Scott Slamilton is somehow out of the pack, sent to the box. Jurassic Park is your lead jammer. Oh, it looks like they're gonna let the let the pack uh, disintegrate. Jurassic yeah. Park threw easily with five points in that separated pack. They only have a 23-point deficit at this point. It's a good news for Pioneer Valley. Jurassic Park taken to the outside by Sasquatch on turn three, but he jumps right back in. Oh, he no. He is being sent <laughs> to the box. Major back block. Yeah, it happened kind of on the other side of the track. We couldn't couldn't quite see it, but uh, rough and signaling, major back block. Scott Slamilton looking pretty pleased. <laughs> ready to go. He's back on the track, and his teammates are slowing that pack as best they can. They're also trying to hold Wrench in the back as a goat. They do it successfully and give him a whip. However, there's a three-wall of Pioneer Valley in the front. Davy Jones takes a swipe at him. Bazooka, Bazooka Joe tries as well, but he jukes around. Obviously, not lead, but ready to score. Puget <laughs> Sound waiting for that... Uh Last blocker from Pioneer Valley to no enter. No pack, but there's a sandwich yeah. block on him at what should be the front of the pack. He'll take five points and call off that jam. And the front two wall of Grizzly and Wrench are going to go take a seat in the box for Pioneer Valley. Jurassic Park standing in the box for Pioneer Valley at the beginning of this next jam. Like a thunderstruck jamming for the uh, outcast. It's like a last second modified jersey there. I think that's who it is. Oh my goodness, Thunderstruck. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's Thunderstruck. I think, By I the think number it, is. it should be. He takes a spin on a block from, I think that was Dr. Spankenstein, and makes his way past his own blockers out of the front of the pack for lead jammer. Jurassic Kick is back in, blocked down by Quadzilla. <laughs> that was like a beautiful double pirouette block. Oh, he jumps through. 
Of course, he's not lead, but he is through. Dr. Spankenstein is really working on uh, the Puget Sound Thunderstruck right now. Takes him down once, but he makes it through the pack and calls off the jam. We got a little bit of a lead back. Looks like the score is going to sit at 83 for Puget Sound and 54 for Pioneer Valley. Just over 24 minutes left in the game. Mars Travolta lines up against Scott Slamilton. Hollywood Chuck taking an intentional fourth minor going to the box as a blocker. Very slow pack, relatively spread out. It comes back together just in time. Both jammers struggling against blockers of the opposing team, but Scott Slamilton makes it out for lead jammer. Mars is out now, about a half a lap behind. Four wall of Pioneer Valley with the advantage in the front, Whoa. but somehow Scott Slamilton gets past them by jumping the apex on turn four. Calls off the jam. That almost didn't look possible. <laughs> but it was outrageous. So score now, 87 Puget Sound, 54 Pioneer Valley. We have 23 minutes left in the game. Quadzilla LK, number 23 on the line for Puget Sound. Uh, Jurassic Park for Pioneer Valley. Two blockers still <laughs> sitting in the box for Puget Sound. So again, a 4-2 pack advantage to Pioneer Valley. Oh, Jurassic kicked through on the inside line. Wow, Quadzilla just sort of outraces and jukes around Davy Jones. He passed that wall in the front. He's not lead, but about a quarter track behind Jurassic Park and closing in fast. We have a slight pack advantage for Pioneer Valley. Oh, nope. Three on three in the pack now. Thank you to the DNN viewer chat room for completely covering all the plugging we could possibly need to do for Adam Wheels during this first, during the <laughs> second period. And, uh, and now we're talking about antics in the chat room, I see. <laughs> antics, you say? Why, there's Quadzilla taking a seat in the penalty box right now. <laughs> we test those skates not only in on-track, but also off-track conditions. Score at this, uh, uh, score is 87 to 58. Puget Sound in the lead. Almost exactly 22 minutes left in the game. You guys are the best. You're covering all of our fantastic sponsors. Why don't you go ahead and talk about where it's really super easy to buy your antics and Adam wheels while you're at it. I'm waiting. Val's <laughs> <Bell's> got it. <laughs> yes, yes. You know them, you love them. It's fastgirlskates.com. It's where you can buy your antics and your Adam wheels. <laughs> Stopped clock, 21.59. Score, Puget Sound, 87. Pioneer Valley, 58. Oh, can they be imported? Are you kidding? Do you know who does amazing customer service to the international market? It's Fast Girl Skates. You can get them on the phone, contact them on the internet. You'll get the same service that you would get if you were lucky enough to visit their shop in Seattle, I swear to you. And if you're looking for a link, Val just posted it. I'm talking it. about your antics and your atoms. Fast Girl will send them to the UK, I swear. <laughs> So, uh, Mars Travolta jamming for Pioneer Valley. Godzilla's in the box. He's through and he gets lead jammer. 3 2 pack advantage for Puget Sound, but there's a two wall of Pioneer Valley in the back. 4 2 pack advantage. Corey Payne rejoins the pack. And uh, one on one on one on one, the blockers are trying to move each other out of the way so that they can either defend or help. Mars Travolta managed to make oh, it around man. the last blocker. A fancy, uh, fancy backwards dancing there. That was some like pirouette, backwards skate, footwork <laughs> craziness. It was lovely. Mars Travolta letting Puget Sound know, I got a little jam skating too. 
No. Oh. It's good at jumping as well. Absolutely. Um, three wall in the back trying to take him out. They do manage to get him out into turn two. Mars only has one uh, blocker on the track right now. That's uh, Will Jetterson. Corey Payne was his last blocker to pass. He's through with five points. Narrowing that gap again. This time even closer. Scores currently 87 to 68. Puget Sound. But Quadzilla is uh, gaining fast. Quadzilla jumps over the apex and in front of Will Jettison just as the jam ends. Tries to get one and call it, but it looks like he got zero. Went out of bounds before, uh, before that last point was scored. So 87-68 is the current score. Puget Sound's in the lead. Not a big lead. 20 minutes left in the game. Thunderstruck jamming for Puget Sound. And Jurassic Kick Park, once again, jamming for Pioneer Valley. Um, another 4-3 pack advantage for Puget Sound right now. Three wall of Davy Jones, Bazooka Joe, and someone else in the back of that pack. They make a, a nice little door for Bazooka, uh, Jurassic Kick Park, I'm sorry. <laughs> However, Thunderstruck found his way right around He's striding as fast as he can as lead jammer. Jurassic Kick still trapped behind the four wall of Puget Sound. And Thunderstruck taken down, I think, by Jurassic Kick Park on his way into the pack. Yikes. Jurassic Kick's a... Uh, oh, manages to get through now. Of course not lead, as that was his first pass. And it's flat track. He's in front, but not oh. the lead jammer. Jurassic Kick went down there at the last second. I think uh, Thunderstruck was calling it before he went down. So 88-68 uh, is the current score. Oh, no, no, no. 92-68 to 68 is the uh, current score. Puget Sound in the lead. 18.45 left in the game. Hollywood Chuck Berry, number 24-7, lined up for Puget Sound against Mars Travolta, number 615 for Pioneer Valley. Both oh. jammers hit the pack and a huge pileup in turn two. Mars Travolta is out, not lead. He's a, Thought he was called off to the box. He was given a minor back blocking. A, I think he thought that the ref was also telling, pointing for him to go off the pack because he was right next to the penalty box. He figured he better do it right now. Apparently he was not sending him off. Hollywood calls it off before he can reach the pack. It's 17.50 left in the game. Scott Slamilton on the line for Puget Sound. And Jurassic Kick Park for Pioneer Valley. Officials having some kind of a discussion with uh, Pioneer Valley skaters in the penalty box. And uh, very light even packs, two on two right now. That leaves a lot of holes wide open and Scott Slamilton takes advantage of them on the outside. He's your lead jammer. Jurassic Park is uh, one to beat, he does it. He's about two-thirds of the pack behind, or two-thirds of the track behind. Scott Slamilton's teammate moves the back most uh, Pioneer Valley blocker out of the way, and uh, Wrench decides to stop mid-block when he thinks he's out of play. Scott Slamilton calls off the jam. 17 minutes left in the game. Scoreboard reads 96 for Puget Sound, 68 for Pioneer Valley. Hollywood Chuck Berry on the line for Puget Sound. Mars Travolta for the Pioneer Valley. Oh, that's like a, a pizza or pretzel machine rolling <laughs> past us now. Don't they know or we're hungry? Popcorn? I, I don't know. All those things sound awesome. Two on two in the pack again. <laughs> oh, wow. and Mars is through for lead. Finds his holes easily. Not as easy for Hollywood. Bazooka Joe is really racing and blocking him at the front of that pack, but ends up letting him go. 
more than half a track between Chuck Berry and uh, Mars Travolta right now. Ryrod rejoins the pack. At the same time, I think that's, uh, is that Wrench? No. Mars gets one and calls it. That's Mongo. Why do I keep confusing Mongo and Wrench? <laughs> it's the, it's sorry, the short guys. names. They have short names on their jerseys. All right, that brings the score to 96-70. Puget Sound in the lead. 15 and uh, about 35 left in the game. Jurassic Park jamming for Pioneer Valley now and uh, Quadzilla for the sound. Wow, Jurassic Park making his way up through the outside and Quadzilla up through the inside. They oh. both hit each other as hard as they can on turn three and take a fall together. Both. Those guys are bros, man. They are just mirrors in the pack right now. Just recycled each other back into the pack. And now uh, Quadzilla out, Jurassic out. Uh, Quadzilla takes him to the outside and recycles him to the back of the pack. They're just both being the jammers and the pack right now. <laughs> Who needs all those blockers? <laughs> They'll do it all. Is it? Zero, plus, zero. Plus, they're like twins. I didn't even catch that they'd called Quadzilla lead jammer. He knew it. It's a uh, narrow lead by Puget Sound, 96 to 70. 14 34 left in the game. We may have been about even on this half. Four on three in the pack as Dr. Spenkenstein takes a seat in the box after collecting his intentional fourth minor. Hollywood Chuck and Mars Travolta jamming. Hollywood Chuck Berry around the outside. Mars Travolta heading up the inside. Gino Evil has to let him go when he knocks him to the floor. Gino Evil also taking out a ref leapfrog style on that straightaway. <laughs> I like the frog. To Gino Evil. Hollywood Chuck Berry's got a three wall, now a two wall to beat in the front, makes his way around wrench and calls off the jam. Not before Mars uh, reaches the back of the pack. I think he uh, managed to score two points to uh, Chuck's four. I think that that's only the second time I've seen a ref down this entire tournament weekend as well. So <laughs> sorry for you guys that are trying to play the game and drink. <laughs> They've been very kind to refs here. We did give you a scoreboard palindrome, though, so I don't want to hear any complaining. It's a 100 to 72, Puget Sound in the lead. I think cougaring is funny when you're talking about women, but it just doesn't seem right when you're talking about men. And even just the, not just the fact that, you know, men aren't called cougars necessarily, but the implication that a man is creeping on a minor is kind of gross. <laughs> I, I might be completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> that might be a personal you know, discrimination. Kyle <laughs> says it doesn't seem right at all because it's lame. <laughs> oh, Silver Fox. You can't really say somebody's silver foxing, though. <laughs> <laughs> they have or, to be silver, don't he's, they? He's May, December romancing in <laughs> turn four. <laughs> That's more polite. I like how the chat room perked up when we started talking about cougars. <laughs> <laughs> At 13 13 left in the game. Looks like we're about to get started again. Quadzilla and. Uh, Mars Travolta. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, Mars Travolta just squeezes his way up the inside. We thought he was free, but he's taken to the inside and forced to the back of the pack by Ryrod. So close. Quadzilla is out and lead. Chasing up to the back of the pack. He's probably just about going to meet Mars Travolta at the back of this pack with the intense three wall of Puget Sound working on him. Mongo is positionally blocking Quadzilla right now. Spankenstein and damage with the assist. They're trying to form a huge moving wall because Quadzilla is kind of unstoppable in this kind of a situation. He finds a way to slide sideways up the outside, gets past Spankenstein and calls off the jam after taking four points. Quadzilla is always a joy to watch. You never know what you're going to see. It's like Hollywood Chuck's going to be jamming for the sound. Is it Dr. Spankenstein for Pioneer Valley? 
Hollywood Chuck Berry for Puget Sound. Uh, one blocker from each team sits in the penalty box at the beginning of this jam, so 3-3 three, three pack. Oh my god, Val, you're a genius. <laughs> Val is suggesting, for those of you who are not reading or can't read, that we should call it a Kruger in men's roller derby because they're burning a minor <laughs> rather than a Kruger. Val, oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Hollywood Truck is through, and he's a lead jammer. As Megan Sign is through about half a lap behind him. comes Hollywood Chuck Berry up through the outside. He takes a one-two hit from the blocking wall of Pioneer Valley, oh. makes it back across the inside, and Dr. Spankenstein takes a hit on him. Somehow, Mr. Hollywood Chuck Berry has collected a trip to the penalty box and is shaking his head, <laughs> he's, dusting he's, off his shoulder. He's brushing it off. He just, just barely um, cut the last skater on the track, I think, from his track viewpoint it didn't look like he had so he thought he was safe spankenstein is being held by Radelac right now slips around number 50 makes it around the outside for five points that brings the score to 104 81 you just down still in the lead pack's getting spread out pretty far Oh, big wow. hit. Slamilton and Radilak making a huge hit on Spankenstein in turn four. Looks like they're uh, not in play anymore, though. And Well, confusing rough calls. Five points for Dr. Spankenstein on that pass. And here goes Slamilton to the box to join Hollywood Chuck Berry. Hollywood Chuck Berry standing in the box. Intense three wall of Puget Sound at the front, holding Dr. Spankenstein. Uh, Jettison tries to break up that wall and ends up taking a fall from that block. As the clock runs out. Nine minutes and 45 seconds left in this game. Assuming the uh, scoreboard is done updating. I think we have 107 to 89 for Puget Sound. Just about 9.30 on the clock right now in this second period. Uh, 107.90. I think there was a one more point update there. 107-90, Puget Sound. Less than a 20-point lead. And because Hinkley can't read while broadcasting, I just want to let them know on this archive video that there is a lot of love for you guys in the chat room. Derby Nation is recognizing your talent, dedication, and service to our sport. Wow, huge three-man PBRD pileup as uh, Corey Payne pile drives his way through the inside. However, a little too late thanks to that pileup, and uh, Jurassic Park has lead jammer. Not a commanding lead, though. It's almost right on him. Jurassic Park enters the pack, gets one, calls it off. Oh, maybe he gets three points. Honestly, the refs have a different viewpoint than we do. Pioneer Valley steadily building up their points to close this gap. Unbelievable, 107 Puget Sound, 93 Pioneer Valley with just over eight minutes left to play. This game is not anywhere near over. I'm, I'm not positive on this, but I believe Pioneer Valley has actually outscored Puget Sound in, in this half. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Bankenstein versus Hollywood Chuck Berry. Jammer on jammer defense right off the line. Uh, Hollywood Chuck Berry just kind of ignoring that hit, jumps the apex, swims around his own jammers. He's lead jammer. No big deal. <laughs> two on two in the pack right now. Oh, three on two. Spankenstein takes a hit on him and moves past him. Hollywood is just taking his time, raising his hands, taps his hips. It's over. He's going to try to run down the clock while they've got the lead. But there's still seven minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to do damage. The score still sits at 107 to 93, Puget Sound. Quadzilla LK on the line for Puget Sound. Mars DeVolta for Pioneer Valley. Pack. 
Quadzilla tries to uh, take Pioneer Valley's jammer to the outside, does so successfully between turns one and two. He made his way up through the inside after making his own hole. He's your lead jammer. Mars Travolta still struggling behind a two wall, but tumbles his way through the inside line to break the pack. Quadzilla's already through the pack again. Just waiting for him to call it. <laughs> Here comes Mars Travolta up to the back of the pack. Radilac taking him to the outside just as Quadzilla calls off the jam. Oh, widen the gap just a little bit. Puget Sound now has 111 uh, to 93 for Pioneer Valley. And uh, it's a uh, timeout on the track. Looks like we've got captains and managers. Maybe a challenge of some sort. One Pioneer Valley skater sitting in the box right now to start this next jam. I feel like that might be Grizzly Adam, but I'm not sure. Time out call on the track. Six minutes. 20 seconds remaining. Junior Town, 111. PDRG, 93. Very close game. One blocker in the box for PDRG. Four and three is coming up. Chuck Perry takes the line. Against Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park taking the line for Pioneer Valley. And Hollywood Chuck Berry jamming again for Puget Sound. 4-3 pack advantage, Puget Sound, at the beginning of this jam. It's a very close bout. We're at 111 to 93, Puget Sound in the lead. Just over six minutes to play. Oh, Jurassic Kick Park takes a really nice inside line there, but takes a fall on the back of Geno Evil. Meanwhile, Chuck Berry has taken an outside line. I, Grizzly Adam has re-entered from the penalty box and is skating just ahead of Hollywood Chuck Berry trying to get back to his pack. <laughs> looked like he was aggressively going to block him on the complete opposite side of the He makes it there track. just in time to help the four wall in the back try and put a hit on uh, Hollywood Chuck Berry. They miss him. And uh, he's through with five, no, four points, I'm sorry. Not your lead, Jammer Jurassic Tech Park approaching the back of the pack. Three wall of Pioneer Valley behind a four wall. Uh, sound. No, he does get one point, Jurassic Park. Hollywood Chuck Berry calls it, obviously. That's a score update, 115 to 94, Puget Sound on the lead. Just about five minutes left in the game. Quadzilla LK number 23 for Puget Sound in yellow. <laughs> the, uh, Dr. Spankenstein for Pioneer Valley. Quadzilla passes Will Jettison, races up the outside, and he's your lead jammer. Spankenstein also taking an outside line. I think that's Corey Payne that blocks him to the outside of turn one. Someone's going to the box. I think it's Corey Payne. Of course, there were eight skaters in our way. We couldn't see what happened, but... Quadzilla makes it through the pack quickly. He'll take five points for that pass. Dr. Spankenstein out of the pack about a quarter track behind him. Two on two in the pack, but Grizzly Adam is standing in the box for Pioneer Valley. And now it looks like Ryrod is also standing in the box for Puget Sound. And uh, the next Pioneer Valley blocker also standing. Wrench, he's about to return to the pack. 4-3 pack advantage to Pioneer oh. Valley right now. Mongo takes a good hit on Quadzilla, but he just spins, keeps on ticking. Mongo takes him to the outside of turn one, and Quadzilla calls off the jam. Four points for Quadzilla on that one. Zero for Spankenstein. The uh, current score is 119 to 94. Puget Sounds in the lead with three and a half minutes left in the game. Jurassic Kick Park, Hollywood Chuck Berry, Rowan down on the line. Looks like a lot of good fun. 
For three pack advantage, Pioneer Valley. They take that uh, opportunity to three wall in the back and stop Hollywood Chuck Berry effectively. For the first time, I think I've seen them contain him actually this entire bout. Jurassic Park is your lead jammer. Hollywood still trying to get out of the pack as Jurassic enters. He's out, but not lead. Jurassic is through. Waiting to see how many points that was. I believe it's four from He's the ref on that pass. Bounced off Thunderstruck and got out of the pack. He's chasing Hollywood Chuck Berry right now, trying to leap around him and push his way through the inside. He calls off the jam before Chuck can hit the pack. So a 26-point lead. If Puget Sounds ahead, 124 to 98. That's if I did my math correctly. Um, not unfathomable to make up that amount of points in 2 minutes and 15 seconds, especially since they've been having a better second half. Scott Slamilton on the line for Puget Sound. Just about two minutes left on the period clock. Dr. Spangasai on the line for Pioneer Valley. Number uh, 113 volts. It's going to be one of the last jams in the entire Spring Roll 2011 event. So savor it while you can, kids. Scott Slamilton almost makes it up the inside, but takes a block to the uh, inside of the track that makes him have to recycle to the back of the pack. Pioneer Valley using a four wall effectively, water falling on him. Mongo still holding him back, but Dr. Spankenstein has been taken to the back of the pack by Quadzilla. Slamilton is out with lead. Spankenstein's having some trouble with a two wall in front. Looks like Quadzilla is the only one he has to. Uh, get by now. <laughs> Quadzilla pushes him out of bounds and then hops on one toe stop to avoid uh, going out of bounds himself successfully. Wow, there's a penalty call on Scott Slamilton. He'll go take a seat in the box. Thunderstruck standing in the box for Puget Sound. Huge pile up. Oh my god, that was like a, a six skater pile up block craziness going on the outside of turn four. We've got about 50 seconds left, both on the jam clock and the period clock. Speckenstein not lead, but in a position to score. 4-3 pack advantage, be the town. Will Jettison sent to the box as pivot for Pioneer Valley. Ooh, huge leap by the uh, Pioneer Valley jammer. Ineffective, apparently, because he's back in the back of the pack. Puget Sound's making a very effective wall in the front. Damage is just destroying uh, that front wall as best he can. Moving Corey Payne, Thunderstruck, and somebody else wonderful around. Rattelak. It's like a no-pack call for a second there, but they're back together. And that's the end of the half. The team's trying to, uh, Pioneer Valley's trying to call a timeout. The uh, clock does say zero, though. I'm not sure that they will be afforded their timeout. The jam clock and the period clock were almost right on each other at that point, so. All right, let's see what the officials decide. They're <laughs> sort of warning everyone away from the track. This game is not yet officially over. Hollywood Chuck says one more. Looks like there's going to be one more jam. No? Yes, no? He's letting the uh, Pioneer Valley coach say his piece. Unofficial final score, which may not be final if there's another jam. 127 Puget Sound, 102 Pioneer Valley. Excellent effort on the part of both of these teams today. There would be a lot of points to make up, but definitely uh, probably seen the uh, several jams that big here. So not inconceivable. <laughs> Crowd is, is chanting one more jam. One oh, more jam. You guys saying nice things about us again. Thank you so much. We are <laughs> humbled and honored to be here calling this game for you. We only try to do our best and uh, if we don't screw up too much, we're thrilled. So thanks for the love. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. I wish that there could be theme music of some sort for when this happens. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's taking so long to make this decision. 
They're all trying to grow beards in case <laughs> there's another jam. <laughs> <laughs> I think ah! they're, they're going to have a jam they, anyway. The entirety <laughs> of both teams are now on the track <laughs> jamming this last jam. <laughs> Hollywood Chuck. There's two jammers Hollywood for Chuck us. Barry is jamming. He's jamming He's against Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is your lead jammer by my call because I'm calling this one. But Scott Slamilton is also jamming for the Puget Sound. <laughs> and He's still in the back of the pack. <laughs> well, Hollywood took his off, so I guess Scott can try and take advantage of that position. We have a, we have a rough down in the center of the track. <laughs> and now both teams as one giant pack taking their victory lap, <laughs> congratulating themselves, each other, and their fans. We would like to congratulate Fort Wayne Derby Girls for one of the most fantastic derby events we've ever had the honor to be a part of. I cannot tell you how exciting it has been for the DNN crew to be here at this incredibly inclusive event, watching historic action for Midwest Junior Derby, watching historic action here for women's B teams, watching historic action here between some of the top men's roller derby teams on the planet. It's been a really exciting weekend. We have so many people that we would like to thank. Um, this production this weekend has been directed by Natalie Hinckley of Hinckley Design and Production. The associate producer was Hurt Reynolds. This has been produced by Porch Moon. We would especially like to thank the Allen County Memorial Coliseum, the Marriott Fort Wayne, the Fort Wayne Derby Girls, of course, and especially, again, the Allen County Memorial Coliseum. Our key DNN sponsors for this and every event in 2011 are Adam Wheels, adamwheels.com, Green Monster featuring Antic Skate Boots, grnmnstr.com, Fast Girl Skates and Fast Girl U, fastgirlu.com, fastgirlskates.com. Our sportscasters this weekend have been myself, Mercy Less, my partner here in crime, Roxy Horror, Hello. Frenzy Lohan, Miss Jane Redrum, Justice Feelgood Marshall, Hurt Reynolds, Bob Noxious, Mr. Macabre, Julia Childless, and Ecstatic. Our videographers for this fantastic shoot have been Eric Allen, Chris Wales, Porch Moon, and High Five. I'm Mercy Less. And I'm Roxy Horror. We thank you so much for watching DNN and most especially for watching this amazing Spring World 2011 tournament. We sure hope to join you again for this tournament next year. And uh, if you feel the love, Feel free to contribute, but thank you as always from volunteer-powered, viewer-supported DNN for being here, watching with us, and we hope to see you again soon on the intertubes. <laughs>